Ventura Boulevard, one of LA's top destinations for shopping and dining. On this famed street is a landmark restaurant called La Freite, a bistro owned by French immigrant Andre Remillion. La Freite opened in 1972. We were the only French restaurant on the boulevard. Right this swag. It was always busy, even at 12 o'clock at midnight, we were packed. After years of success, Andre's son Alex was eager to join his father at La Freite. I was looking forward to my dad and myself making this restaurant work for the next 15, 20, 30 years. But two years ago, Andre's daughter Celine decided she also wanted in on the family business. Alex, do you care this going out like this, the soupy? You're the boss. I know my brother's not happy that I'm here. I know he wishes that he could, could just keep going the way he was going. I think that this restaurant has so much more potential than it's already had. And I really felt like it could really make a difference here. You haven't eaten much. I could make this at home, not in a good way. The food is mediocre at best. What do you need? I've been cooking at La Fried for about 19 years. I'm responsible 100% for everything that's in the kitchen. I don't think the menu is, uh, is there is nothing wrong with it. Onion soup is bitter. Onion soup is bitter? Martin is a Napoleon complex. Just give me the number table. He's a little man with a big mouth. Ah. I've watched the food just slowly kind of go down and down and down. Souffle is coming back to Eggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've made my comments. I can't tell anybody anything. Um, Alex? Just. I either get argued with or I get told no. Oh, uh, good old son. Well, Alex, he's a little lackadaisical sometimes. <laughs> He resents Celine. I'm not the manager tonight. He feels slighted. He feels shunned. My brother and I used to get along really, really well, and we were very close. But the restaurants hurt our relationship pretty bad. I don't hate Alex. He hates you. I know he does. It's really difficult for me, because I'm the one who has to be the, the buffer for both of them. And I wish sometime they can understand each other. It's so quiet in here. The numbers just cut down to a third of what we were doing before. Now we are dead by 9 o'clock. Hey, we only did about 20 covers tonight. It's going to be tough. I need Chef Ramsey to come in because someone needs to say, hey, look, this is what's affecting your business. Yeah, it's slowing down, but why do we need to change things when it has been working for such and such amount of years? We're losing money, and uh, it's time for my kids to take over. And if they can't work together, just have to close the door. Before Chef Ramsay makes the six-mile drive from his LA restaurant to the freight, owner Andre Remillion is anxious to meet with him privately. How are you today? All right. I'm Welcome to Gordon Ramsay. Chef uh, Ramsay. To give Chef Ramsay a quick briefing into the problems of his restaurant. Excuse me two seconds. Hi. Chef hey. Ramsey? How are you? Hi, my name is Andre. Andre, good to see you. I want to talk to you about the problem I okay. have with my business. Uh, first of all, in terms of the business, it's been there for how long? The business has been over there for 38 years. Wow. It's been good to me until you... recently I'm starting to back up and I want my daughter, my son to take over. Oh, so you're passing it to them? I'm trying to. And who are they? Alex. Alex. is my boy. OK. He's the older one and selling a sister. So what is the number one problem with the restaurants? I think it's mostly the communication right. between my daughter, my son. But they somehow, it's a big clash. Celine went and tried on her own business and didn't really work out. So she came back and worked for me. When she came back, Alex didn't Clashed. want Celine to come back because he right. saw the, he owned the place. They, they never really work together. And it's really difficult to, to find a solution. It's getting to a point where I can really handle the conflict of personality, and I hope Chef friends it can help. Thank you for coming okay. over. It would yeah? be great. Okay. Thank you. Secretary nice to meet you. See you shortly. OK. Thank you. Hello. How are you? I'm great. Nice I'm to good. see you. I'm and first name is? Gail. I'm the manager. OK, great. How long have you been here? 20 years. 20 years here. 20 years. Wow, wow, wow. What's that monstrosity in the middle there? That's uh, our dessert case. Is it what? Your dessert case? Is there a problem with the kitchen, or does it always stay here? It's been here for 20 years that I know of. Um, so it came when you came? Wow. 
What is this? That's our dessert tray. Holy crap, did someone drop it? They could have. <laughs> How long has that brick been sat there? That's our homemade bread pudding. That's been there, I think, longer than you've been yeah, here. Huh? Well, they don't, yeah, you're right. Yeah, OK. Ugh. Chef Ramsay's right about the dessert case. I think it should be out of here. Right, where would you like me to sit here? Yes, sir. I've been trying to get it out ever since I've been here. Can you hear the noise of that thing in the motor? Yes. Who I wants to come out to a restaurant and sit next to a fridge? Hey, Constant buzz. Um, is Andre around? Would you like to see Andre? Uh, yes, please, yeah. OK. Thank you. Good nice to see you. Me. Likewise, good to see you too. Mm -hmm. Dessert fridge is a disaster. Andre? Yes? Chef Ramsay would like to see you. Yeah. The colour's ghastly. Garland, how are you? Hi. How are you? Hi. Yeah, good to see you again. My Hi. daughter. How are you? I'm how Celine. You? Celine, nice good to, to see you. you. Likewise. She's going to take care of you. Do. OK, brilliant. Gordon coming here was pretty much my idea. You're going to look at the menu for a minute? Absolutely, definitely. I'll be right back. Thank you, Celine. Because it's really become a big pointing finger match of it's so-and-so's fault. Oh, it's so-and-so's fault. But nobody's taking responsibility for the problem. I'm back. Do you have any questions for right now? Um, what quiche would you recommend? I prefer the Lorraine. That's something we're known for. Let's do the Lorraine. The Lorraine. And then I'll start with fruit salad and then the seafood crepe. Not a problem. Thank you. Guys, this table that's coming in right now is for Gordon. Seafood I'll take the Lafrit salad to him. Chef Renzi would like the food because all my food is good. How much dressing would you like? The three. usual amount, thanks. I'm about three quarters to start. And inside the salad, we've got. Inside romaine. the salad is the romaine, the, um, the walnuts, and you've got your blue cheese as well. And that's one portion. It's massive. Salads are large, and it's usually good as an entree. Enjoy. Thank you. Wow. It's bland. The vinegar dressing is so beautiful. The um, vinegar dressing is so strong, just overpowering. Are you through with the salad? Oh, yeah, I am, Can yeah. Can I clear it? so acidic. Yep. I already know. Did you mention to the chef? Yeah, I, no one listens to me. You knew it was wrong. You told them, but no one's listening to you. Story of my life. But why <laughs> is that? Martin doesn't listen to me, and he has an issue taking anything from a female. Is this chauvinistic stance? Yes. Some of it. It's absurd. I that understand that. Disgusting. I'll let him know. Thank you. I am embarrassed by the food. I just think that it can all be improved immensely. Martin, your vinaigrette is too vinegary, OK? You know, what is wrong with it? Because uh, we've been running this food for our many years. Martin, you heard me right? I'm just letting you guys know what he's saying, OK? Thank you, love. This is going to be the seafood crepe. I'm going to set that in front of you here. It looks like a pie. Basically, they take the dish, they line it with the, with the crepes, they fill it with the items, fold it back, and then they bake it. They're not like your typical French crepe. But why would you call it a crepe if it's not really any crepe? I think when the seafood crepe comes out, it just looks like a slurpy mess of black. Can I have a word with your uh, big brother? Is he here or not? He's unfortunately not. He will be here for dinner service tonight. OK. All right, All right. enjoy. Thank you. OK. Oh. That, that is hideous. It's, it's, it's hot in parts, like in the middle, but on the side there, stone cold. Want me to take it? Is the oven not working? No, the oven's working fine. You can't serve this shit and expect customers to flood through the door. I understand. How long has he been here? The Martine? Too long. You're not wrong there. <laughs> Martine lost his mojo around here many years ago. If you got someone who doesn't care about the food they're putting out, what do you have? Martine? He said it's hot in the middle, it's cold on the sides. He doesn't like it. How long has that been under the grill? Because it looks like it's been overcooked. It's piping hot. Is he microwaving that? I don't know, girl. Yes. When normally something's that piping hot like that, it always tells you that it's been microwaved. Can you just check with the chef? OK, I'll check. Listen, thank you. OK, Martin. The quiche is warmed in the oven. Yeah. Hasn't seen the microwave. No. No. OK. 
shelf. Um, quiche? No microwave. I asked him if he put it in. He said no. Wait, oh, hold on a minute. I'm convinced this has been microwaved. Look at it. It's congealed. It's just like a, a, a rubber puck. Sometimes, if he gets a little backed up, I, I've seen him do it before. Backed up? This is ridiculous. And let's go and uh, meet Martine. Please. It's a food issue right now. It starts from the kitchen. If we had somebody in here who cared about the food, we'd be so much better than we are now. Martin, I want you to meet Chef Ramsay. Come around, please. You're the head chef. And everything I ate for lunch, you cooked. Yes, sir. Lunch was a disaster. The quiche rain was rancid. Where did you heat that up? Was that in the microwave? Oven. No, I disagree. OK. We sat on the microwave, and then uh, we put it on the oven, yes. So it did go in the microwave? That is right, yes. But you just told me it wasn't in the microwave. Why do you want to lie to me? Do you want, do you want me to lie to you? No, I'm not lying to you. I'm just telling you how do I do it. I'm, I'm so amazed that you're so laid back and, like, you don't give a shit. Talk to me. What do you want me to say? Why don't you care? Is it because you hate Celine? What does that have to do with cooking, sir? Because she said to me in the dining room, every time she tries to tell you something, bang, no, you she jump will, down her. She will come and attack me. Attack yes, you? Yes, sir. Like saying that I'm me here for too long, it's time for me to go. If you're not prepared to change, yeah, I think she's right. OK. She's if it is time for me to go, I go. That was easy. Martin. <laughs> After Chef Ramsay's miserable lunch. That is hideous. Lunch was a disaster. Chef Martin is not interested in hearing any criticism. If it is time for me to go, I go. And is ready to say goodbye to the freight. Martin! The blame is, is pulling on me. That's why I feel like I've been attacked. Martin, talk to me. You just don't understand how much of the stress and pressure I've been under that I'm burning out. I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm... Well, tell me. Do you know how much stress is when I know that I had to work with her? And I cannot work like that. I feel burned out. Celine, you know, is overpowered. Her, you know, authority is a boss, and there's nothing I can do. Even the own brother runs away from her. Like, you know, he doesn't want to deal with her. That's not right. Martin, now I've got your side of the story. Tonight, I want to see how you cook on a busy night service, OK? I'll see you later. Jeez. It's 30 minutes before dinner service, and Celine's brother, Alex, What's up, you hey, baby. arrives to begin his shift. Any updates? Gordon didn't make me cry. He was actually nice to me. Uh-huh. That's nice. Um, tonight will be fun. Chef Ramsay's going to be coming into this restaurant, changing things. So do I feel resistant? Definitely. Guys, look alive. Gordon's coming in now. Good evening. Hey. Well, hello. How are you? How are you doing, Chef Ramsay? Uh, Gordon. Alex, Alex nice good to see you. So you're the Absolutely. big brother? Yeah. Excellent. Big Little sis, yeah. big brother. Yeah. Uh, where's dad? Dad, uh, you know what? Hockey game tonight. He's what? He's gone to a hockey game. Wow, OK. So, um, two minutes with you to catch up. Something. All right. So why weren't you here at uh, lunchtime? Um, you're part owner of this business, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But you've never worked with your sister. Uh, no, we work separate nights. Absolutely. Right. Your father came to see me this morning oh, Okay. to tell me the conflict about you two not working together. Mm -hmm. So why is there so much conflict in here? I think the real conflict is the, the who wants to control and what, what you know, wants to control yeah. things. Are you pissed that she's come to run the business? She shouldn't even be here. I would rather her not be here. But it's your little sis. Wouldn't you be stronger and better with a... No. <sighs> Unfortunately not. So what's wrong with this restaurant in your mind? Mmm. I don't see anything wrong with it, so... You don't see anything wrong? There's not a problem with this restaurant anywhere? Well, you know, I would change the bathrooms. I would change the different physical... Wow. Know. I'm not here to make you look stupid. Right. But you're sounding ridiculous. Let me ask you again. What the fuck's wrong with the restaurant? Um... In your eyes, there's nothing much wrong with it. Well, let's go. We'll, we'll see. 
OK. Well, thanks for the insight. Yeah, absolutely. Aye, aye, aye. If he's not going to be willing to accept this and move on and take it as constructive criticism, it's not going to work. All right, you guys, we ready? Hello there. While Andre is at the hockey game... Hi, ladies. How are you? His two children, Celine and Alex, are working a rare night together, which is good because the restaurant is packed as word has spread that Chef Ramsay is at La Freite. I'm going to have the chopped salad. And you're doing the lamb special? OK, I uh, need three special, three working, three. I'm proud to be doing the cooking because I know what I'm doing. Excuse me, when you put things on the grill there, you don't season it, salt, pepper, on... Yeah, it's already precisely. There's nothing on there. Right now? Yeah. What do you mean, right now? When were you going to season them, then? Yeah, right now. Right now. Okay, now. No seasoning on there. They now... should... I think they... Don't they salt and pepper it when they put it on the grill? Yeah, they're not. They're not. Martin. <laughs> Martin. Martine and I have never gotten along. He ignores me, I don't get answers. Alex can talk to Martine, but Martine does not like hearing anything from me. What is that? That's quiche, but it's been overcooked. You're kidding me. They don't listen to my opinions because it's me. Martine. Yeah, talk to me. Yeah, come round, please. I am talking to you. Yes, sir. Are you serious? OK, one more coming up. I just said to Martine, would you come round for a minute? He's serving Nana. Yeah, you don't walk away and ignore me, right? Alex has never taken confrontation well. And you try and talk to him about something, and he just walks away. Are you joking around, or are you normally like this? You just sort of giving up. Have you given up? I have not given up. Absolutely not. We're, We're walking around with a big bravado. It's wonderful. Uh -huh. This is the most disorganized restaurant I've ever seen. Martin, the chef, he's burnt out. Alex, well, he's so laid back, he's almost comatose. Andre, the owner who makes all the decisions, he's at a freaking hockey game. And the only one who cares, Celine, everybody ignores her. Unbelievable. Oh, by the way, the food sucks. Unreal. It's chewy and the sauce is just gooey. The lamb has got, like, no flavor. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Uh... I said the lamb has no flavor. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I know why it doesn't. We didn't salt and pepper it. They're not even seasoning it? Bring on the menu. Let Alex know what table it is, please. Alex. Yes. Oh, that's just coming back now. Thanks, Gordon. Thanks a lot. Uh, is this normal that he doesn't care? Mm-hmm. Celine, you know what? This is really, this is going to fuck up yeah. everything. You better get a grip. I can't get in the middle. It's really sad, man. We've been running the restaurant for 38 years, and Things don't need to change. You're not real. That hurts. I love my brother, and I know he's better than what he's doing here right now. And I wish he would realize that everybody's here to help. Otherwise, uh, Alex will ruin me. Alex, look at me. Don't bully your sister. Bully me. I'm not bullying anybody, Gordon. Take a bit of responsibility. I am. Wow, what a fucking sponge. This is destroying us. What a shit attitude. It's only an hour into a shaky dinner service. This is going to fuck up everything. You better get a grip. And Chef Ramsay is frustrated with Alex's arrogance. Alex, I, I can't. I'm not going to get in the middle. As for Celine, she is clearly feeling the resentment from her brother. What a shit attitude. He thinks I did this to set him up. Stop crying. I'm trying so hard. Stop crying. The anger, I can see the anger. It's got to come out now. I understand. Yeah. You all think, have to do just, it. You have to work together. You have to get along. Sure. Every day is a fight. What am I supposed to do? I can't keep going. And I feel like I'm the only one fighting. So everybody looks at me like I'm the bitch. I'm the one who's fighting. He's going to hate me even more for this. It's fine. It doesn't matter. I don't even think that anyone knows how much I care. I think the man's here to work it out with you. I just move on. I take a breath and push through it. That's it. There's nothing else I can do. Can you call your dad? Can, I, can, I, can you get your dad on the phone and I get him try. here? Would you? Urgently? Get him here? Please, yeah. I'm ready to go. 
And tell him it's urgent. I will. And if he can't be bothered to get his ass over here to look at the mess that he's left, I'm out of here. Hi. Papa, you need to see this right now. A lot of food's coming back. You know, and just Alex is really just kind of just nonchalant about the whole thing, and it's really kind of pissing Gordon off. He, the same attitude he always takes, Papa. You know exactly, you know? OK, bye. Andre, you've got two seconds. Unbelievable. First of all, I'm slightly concerned you weren't even here. This is much, much worse than I could ever imagine. The worst thing of all is Alex's attitude. He has an attitude with you, or what? With me? He has an attitude with himself. Why is he so arrogant? It's a problem with him not accepting his sister. And I suffer, you know, a lot because of that. You know, they can't work together. It's a fire. He hates her well. being anywhere near him in the restaurant whilst they're avoiding each other. Oh, yeah. And doing their separate that's things. Bad. The kitchen is diving. It's sinking quicker than the Titanic. What's the solution? You can't leave it all to me. And I can't help you unless you start helping yourself. I'll see you in the morning. Bonne nuit. After a long night of contemplating Lafrite's main issue. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Chef Ramsay is focused on bringing this family back together. I can't begin to fix this restaurant because there's so many personal problems here. Because nobody's opening up in front of each other, I want to try something. So I just want you to bear with me. Come with me two seconds. OK. Please. Take a seat. I want you to sit here, watch and listen. What's happening between Celine and Alex? Don't leave this space. I'm going to talk to Celine. How are you? Good, how are you? Well, good to see no, you. Yeah, uh, darling, take a seat. Let's just have a catch up. Okay. That was tough. Tough night last night. This restaurant has been running for 38 years. But the legacy is not going to continue with this kind of attitude. No. The fragmented relationships between the families is incredible. You and Alex are so disconnected. How did it get to where it is today? Communication broke down. But underneath all that, deep down inside, do you think Alex resents you? I know Alex resents me. Tell me why. I think that he feels like he's the older brother and that he thought it, this was his. He thought that he was going to be able to run it the way he wanted, and his world came crashing down. Your relationship with your father, is it different to the relationship he has with Alex? Yeah. I think that he thinks that my dad, in the end, loves me more for some reason. Hi. Hi. How are you? Very good. Sit down. Good. We were just talking about you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why don't you just explain to Alex what you just explained to me? So we used to be very close. But I think that you're bitter towards a lot of things. You've got a lot of resentment. I don't know if it's only towards me, if it's towards other things. I didn't see you wanting to, to come here. It felt like he was going to give you the restaurant. I felt like, you know, I was losing not only the passion and the pride, but the, the whole aspect of the restaurant. I still have that uneasy feeling like, do I belong? I put that wall up. Yes, I did. I can't do it. I've said it. I can't do it alone. You know that. You know that. I'm not here to hurt you. No. I'm not. Well, I'm not here to step on you in any way. It was the first time that I got to look at you in the eyes and knowing that you're serious about it. 
The separation between my sister and I definitely wasn't working, and she made me, you know, realize we need to get unionized and we need to get together with each other and, and work together. I That's want to do it with you. you. Yeah. <laughs> I love her, and, and of course we're going to work together. Let's get here because I don't. I really thought you hated me. For I don't think she needs a time. hug. You're a big brother, for God's sake. We gotta figure out just a way to talk again. We used to talk. We used to. <laughs> we used to have fun. <laughs> we, used to, we used to be best friends. This feels incredible. It's the most important thing for the restaurant that my brother and I to be family for, for us to get along, and for us to love each other. Let me leave you guys for a couple of minutes on your own. Thank Thanks. you. Okay, let me get some Thank fresh you. air. The walls kind of came down, which is exactly what needed to happen for this family. She definitely showed me that we need to respect each other and that, that the respect for each other is what's going to make Lafrit succeed. If we can continue the legacy and continue the heartbeat of Lafrit, You've got an amazing son and daughter there that are desperate to get this place right. Huh? I hope so. That's one thing I really want, is us three to communicate or talk to each other. And, you know, it was hurting me. It's one step at a time. Yeah, that's it. Oh. <laughs> I was watching the old. I love you. Every time we were meeting, it was a wall. You were not talking to each other. Both of you are going to have to work with each other and listen. All three of us are in charge, and we should sit down any time we have a decision. We need to go one way where everybody works together. We have seen a, a big step on the communication. I just hope and cross my finger, and it's going to hold. After a breakthrough, emotional meeting between Alex and Celine. I love her, and, and of course we're going to work together. Chef Ramsay is now ready to start implementing some changes. Gone is the 20-year-old dessert case that sat in the middle of the dining room. Oh, Jesus. And in its place, a contemporary crepe station. There you go. Real crepe. We're going to start doing some crepes. For tonight's menu, Chef Ramsay is replacing the soggy, heavy casserole crepes yeah. with fresh, light, traditional crepes. Try that. It's excellent. Yeah? It's really good. It'll be our first table tonight. Nice. Best table in the house. Tonight, Alex will once again be in charge of the front of the house, but he will also be supervising the new crepe station and will be assisted by Gail. A little fresh dill on it. I'm not burning. And then start to move. As for Celine, she will be in the kitchen, expediting and working alongside Chef Martin. Martin, you and I are going to really need to chat. I'm going to go completely off the specials. Oh, sounds good. The smoked salmon crepe? Yeah. OK, is it all up? What is that? It's an omelet. You want it again? You tell me. Can he not cook an omelet? He should be able to. Can I get two new ones? Is anybody listening? Yes. I'm ready for the cordon bleu. Martin, try to communicate, please. Right here. What is that? Cordon bleu? Look at that, it's a fucking diaper sandwich. Andre, Martin, just stop and come round. Look at me, look at me in the eyes. Look, I can't serve that. What's that? It shouldn't be like that. Look at the fucking oil slick. Come on, guys. Papa, will you tell him? We don't drown it in there. Yeah, OK. He's going to have to learn. He has to let it drain. My nine-year-old daughter can cook that from that. Martin. Yes. I just want you to care. Yeah, I, I got that. Fuck, I'm struggling. Where's the rest of our food? There's a little communication, trying to, trying to get everything fired. Who's making the crop, Michelle? 
While the kitchen struggles to push out food. Here you go. Thank you, Celine. Customers who ordered the crepes are thrilled with what they are receiving. It looks fabulous. Absolutely awesome. As for the old menu, it's disappointment. After disappointment. I'm so sorry. I, the artichoke, it's droopy. It doesn't have any flavor. Did you want anything else instead or just uh, no, no, we'll just go to the main course. Thank right. you so much. We've got uh, two hot artichokes coming back. No good? What? They said they're old and they don't like it. It's disheartening to see how much food was wasted time. I literally feel like we are, you know, back to square one. So, we'll just get a little bit organized. So I want to see you step up to the plate, yeah? Don't listen to me. Last night you were the only voice of reason I could actually understand. So, they got to yeah. listen. Got it. You understand? Communication's off the essence, guys. How many minutes out are we on table 19? In the kitchen, Chef Martin continues to ignore Celine. Flip that baby. But in the dining room, Alex is a new man. Pretty darn good, huh? I'm getting my routine here. He's energetic and working hard to satisfy customers any way he can. Ham and cheese. Including making delicious, satisfying crepes. So yummy. Isn't it, like, really good. so good? I love it, Jill. It's good. Well, thank you, gentlemen. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Let's be honest, we all know where the problem is. Celine? The head chef is not acting as the head chef and watching the food come out properly. And for every crap dish they send out, it's closing that door quicker. I have seen what you have seen. I have seen some stuff which I don't like. They need a leader. They need a better leader. You're right. They need that. Without that, they can't respect us. That's the engine room in there. If that's not firing on all cylinders, we're screwed. Understand what I've said. Absolutely. Tomorrow, I want each and every one of you to get ready for some major changes. With the family now all on the same page, Chef Ramsay moves ahead with a 40-year-old facelift of the freight. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Are you ready? to witness the new Lafrite. Let's do it. Celine, ladies first. Off you go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God. Jump in. Beautiful. Oh, it's different. Wow. Look at it. Now, where's my yellow? <laughs> Gone is the yellow. I can't believe how white. Oh. How much does that blue pop out now? It's beautiful. How are the awnings gone? My bar American is gone. My bar can be a bar now. It's not smothered with a hideous awning. We've opened it up and it's got that modern French bistro vibe. We've got custom artwork on the wall. Look at it. Wow. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Customer, oh, my gosh, I'm going to say, oh, my gosh, I'm in the wrong restaurant or what? <laughs> you know? It's really a fantastic change. What do you think? What do you think? Can you see it's awesome. I think it's just beautiful. <laughs> Look at the two of you. I think it's a new beginning, and we're turning that page from the 70s to the future. This restaurant needs to be cool, hip, and trendy to compete. So the menu needs to reflect that. Wow, cut down. It's a classic, modern bistro take. Good. <laughs> OK, tonight we are relaunching La Frite. Yes. New restaurant, new menu. More importantly, a united family with a brand new attitude to put this restaurant on the map. Are you ready? Here is one of the most important worries on my mind. Last night, there was a glaring problem. Your kitchen was nowhere near strong enough to relaunch this restaurant. So I made a few phone calls, and I found a secret weapon. Please welcome Chef Chewy. Come here, bud. Hello, Good to everyone. see you. Hello. Good to see you, buddy. Huh? Are you good? Yeah, I'm happy to be here with you guys. OK. This man has over 15 years of experience in French bistros. Whilst I'm here, I wanted him to be over every little detail in that kitchen, teaching your brigade this menu to make sure we haven't got issues. You got another voice. Thank you. OK, let's go. We've got some prep to do. Oh. <laughs> While Chef Chewy trains Martin and the kitchen staff, <laughs> Chef Ramsay reveals the stunning new menu to the family. OK, the new menu at the fleet. 
It's gorgeous. Beautiful. It smells good in here already. Let's have a little run through on the menu from the top. Something classic in French. Escargot, French nails, puff pastry croutons in there. Mince filet mignon, yeah, classic garnish. Finish with a little quail egg on the top. The entrees, coque au vin, braised chicken in red wine, Swiss chard and turnips. The jarret d'agneau, braised lamb shank, truffle polenta and Brussels sprouts. A Frenchman's dream. It's good. I, I love it. It's gorgeous. I, I'm just flabbergasted. I mean, it's beautiful. This is how it should be. This is exciting. It's a, a great menu, and, you know, I can't wait to see excellent food coming out of the kitchen. Oh, my God. I mean, they're all amazing. It's good. That's all, <laughs> That's all I know. After almost 40 years without a change, it's relaunch night at Lafreet. How are you? You'll be the first customers of the new Lafreet. And time for Chef Martine to be tested. OK, great. You all set? Yeah. Good. Chef Chewy will be there to support him and oversee the crepe station. Can I pour you? Bon gosh. The old Lafreet is gone. Let's go. They're a little nervous because after 20 years cooking the same food almost every day, you know, the new menu is totally different. What do we think? I have the onion soup to start, the uh, uh, braised lamb shank. I'll have the tuna de soie salad with the uh, mushroom gravy. Martine, order in. Let's go, table two, ready to go. It's 30 minutes into service. All right, soup du jour. And appetizers are not only leaving the kitchen quickly. And her car is awesome. They are a hit with customers. That is great. But back in the kitchen. Martine, two soup du jours and a corn on bleu crepe. Martine. Trouble is brewing as a frustrated Celine. How's my corn on bleu crepe? tries to get answers from Martine. Martine! Communicate, please. Martine! Martine! I hear you, sir. Talk to me. I need you to start giving an answer to Celine. You need to talk. While an organized Celine tries to expedite, Martine continues to ignore. What's it been? An hour and a half, two hours? And almost nothing is leaving the kitchen. We can't have our dinner in five minutes. We'd like a bill. OK. And we'll leave. Absolutely. So, I'll yeah. bring it over right now. Do we have table three? It's there. They're doing it right now. They're doing it right now? Uh-huh. Perfect. How long for this do you think? Because otherwise, they said they will cancel it. About five more minutes. Five more minutes. Uh, yeah. Five minutes? I have five tables, all waiting an hour and a half for their entrees. And I cannot do anything. I am screaming at them right now. I, it's too late. We're leaving. Don't worry about 20. They're walking out now. 20's walking out now. And basically, it hurts me so much to watch any table walk out of here without even getting served their food. Just completely out of control. Fucking serious, man. It's relaunch night at Lafrite. And after a 90-minute wait, I am screaming at them right now. I, it's too late. We're leaving. The first table has walked out. Wow. It's unbelievable. Don't worry about 20. They're walking out now. Fucking serious, man. What's wrong? None of my tables have their fucking entrees. One of them walked out. They're done. Oh, fucking hell. Servers in the dining room. Everybody else, shut the fuck up for 30 seconds. This is really important. Celine, I need you to get a grip of the kitchen. I need you to delegate, please. I want take Chewy control. to take control, please. Tell him that, yeah? Chewy, please take control of the kitchen. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Quattro crepes, to all dia. Let's go, guys. We should be able to do this. Come on. How's table eight working? I need, like, four or five minutes for that. Yep, perfect. What I liked about Chef Chewy is when I said something to him, he would acknowledge me and say, OK. And that's how it should be. OK. That's the poulet. Here, this. Poulet champignon. Yay! All right. With Celine and Chef Chewy now working in complete harmony. We're going to table seven, please. Thank you. Thank you. Entrees are flying out of the kitchen. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. And the Frites relaunch. Melt in your mouth. It was worth the wait. Finishes on a positive note. I have no other table. Huh? I'm finished. Take a break. Thank you, guys. Great job, guys. Thank you. Ching on. Gracias, mi buen. Right, um, first of all, let me make something really clear. You will not be able to move forward unless you make major changes in that kitchen. I don't know what would happen to this restaurant tonight if Chef Chewy wasn't there, let me tell you that. But Chef Chewy can't do it alone. It's true. The family's united. Now, you, as a family, have to fix the kitchen. Yeah. Gordon made us realize that we need to work together on making changes, you know, building a team that's going to continue getting this restaurant to, to the next level. 
And Andre, when you first came to me, you were worried about these two. I want them together. They can work together. And they, they proved it. Not to me, but to you. <laughs> they are fine. And they just want to make you proud. I'm proud of them. This has been a really, really incredible experience. It's great to have made it through and to made it through a stronger person and a stronger family and, and a stronger restaurant as a whole. Thank you. Take care. Hey, take care. It was your way great. No more crepe in a casserole. No. <laughs> Promise. Thank you so much. Good night. This week, we definitely, definitely fixed the family, but I'm not too sure we actually fixed the restaurant. We've given them all the tools, but it was up to them to make the tough decisions. Sacre bleu. In the days that followed, Chef Chewy was brought in full time as the new executive chef. Just put it out, put it out. Cordon bleu crepe, thank you very much, Chewy. And is continuing to build a strong team in the kitchen. It's okay. There you go, crispy. Bon appetit. Enjoy. Alex and Celine are working hard to continue the family legacy. So I need the frise salad and the poulet pomme. Okay? But more importantly, they are doing it together. Bye, Selena. Bye. Mm -hmm. See you soon.